we have a 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. Um, we have a traction control light in this thing. It has codes in the ABS system. Saying that the steering wheel angle sensor in correct basic settings. Well, this thing happened to this car because it was sitting without a power a lot and we've been poking around disconnecting a lot of things. Now we have that light on. I'll show you how to perform the basic settings for steering wheel angle sensor. Number one, go to ABS control module. See this component window over here? It says ESP, MK60, EC1, blah, 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 blah. If you have MK70 in this part over here, you gotta do the steering wheel angle sensor adaptation in the steering, steering assist control module, not in the ABS control module. So if we have an MK60, you could do it in here. So you open up basic settings, channel number four, the window number, window number one, you see the steering angle sensor, position the G85, turn the steering wheel, so it zeroes out. It could be plus or minus 0.5 degrees, I believe. So we turn the steering wheel straight, showing zero, don't touch the steering wheel anymore. Then go back, go to security access, you gotta log in with a 40168. Do it. The ABS control module accepts the code. Go to basic settings. Scroll down menu. Pick adjustment of steering wheel angle sensor or channel 60. If you don't have that menu, we get an adjustment status OK. Now you could down go back, check the codes. Codes are gone. And you are all set. Now you just did the basic settings of the steering angle sensor. Now you see we still have the traction control light on and the steering wheel icon lit up. That's because after the after the fact that you have to do like you perform the steering wheel angle sensor basic settings, you have to do the end stop of the steering wheel. So as if we have a steering wheel straight, well, this thing is out of alignment a bit, I guess. Um, you gotta turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. Keep it there for a couple of seconds. Turn it all the way to the right. And you see the steering wheel icon is gone and the traction control light is gone. Sometimes the traction control light stays on. That's because you gotta initiate the traction control by going in a straight line, checks for all the sensors and everything, and the light will turn off. But other than that, you are all set. Sometimes, if you try to do basic settings in the stream angle sensor, you see the window number two where it's supposed to say okay. It says not possible. That means that either some of your conditions are wrong. See, it went into error some of the conditions are wrong or there's other problems in the system that it, it's not gonna allow you to do basic settings like this car for example a uh, customer installed the uh, different navigation system or like different radio unit came with navigation and the fact that it came with navigation added an extra channel channel 37 to the to the car basically one more module in the car and the gateway control module started seeing that there is a control module which is not coded in the gateway control module and that's what was not letting us do the basic settings so check the rest of the systems check all the error codes if you see any codes associated with communication or coding of other control modules Try to address those codes first and then see if that's gonna fix your problem. Good luck.